Hey guys, it's Faith here. Welcome back to my channel. Alright, so recently I got the opportunity to work with this app called FlipFit and it's basically like a subscription service. You get a box of clothes that a stylist chooses out for you and then you can keep what you want and then send back what you don't want. So shout out to them for sending me some stuff that we're going to review today. So essentially in this video I'm going to be, you know, showing you guys the outfits. Um, I'm gonna have a little try on portion as well so you guys can see like what I'm talking about and I'm going to rate them like my first impressions and then my impressions after I actually tried them on. So without further ado, let's get into this video. Alright, so the first item we have is this little leotard jumper thing. This is from the brand Hem and Thread. So I'll like rate these from 1 to 10, my first impression, and then after I tried them on. Okay, so my first impression for this would have probably been like a 5. I thought that it was super cute, but before trying it on, it did look a bit see-through, so I was kind of iffy about it. So I just kind of had very low hopes for this item. <laughs> but after actually trying this leotard on, I honestly liked it a lot, so I'll probably give it like an 8 for my, I guess, second impression. Um, it's actually really cute. It fits really well, surprisingly. And it's not like other jumpers that you put on and they're like really tight in your crotch. This one actually has like breathing room, I guess you could call it. And then it is one that buttons and unbuttons, so it's a lot easier to get on and off. Yeah, I just really like how this fits. It fits super well and these little ruffle sleeve things. These ruffle straps are super cute. I also love a good square neckline. Those are absolutely my favorite. I just find them super flattering and cute. So yeah. <laughs> Alright, and the next item I have here is this little dress. Um, and this is from the brand called Hem and Thread again. So my first impression for this was probably a five again. I did think that the back, this little tie part here, was going to be the front, so I was kind of excited about a little detailing on the front, but then I realized with the help of some friends that that's actually the back. <laughs> Clearly I don't pay attention to tags that are sewn into clothes, but yeah, after trying it on, it was just like... I mean, it's just a pretty basic dress. It's got the square neckline, which I do like a lot. And it's got thin little straps. I love a good leopard print anything. So after trying it on, I would give this probably a seven. Um, it's just really not my style. Like, I don't really wear dresses like this ever in my life. But yeah, this could be just like a cute little picnic church dress thing. Yeah. Definitely a 7 on this one. And then for the next item, you guys can tell I love my animal prints for literally everything. <laughs> We've got this little zebra print tank top, and this is from the Lelis, Lelis collection. Um, I was actually super excited for this item, so for my first impression, I'd probably give it like an 8, 8.5. And, um, I have been looking for zebra print anything for months now and I just couldn't get my hands on anything that's zebra print. It's been rough out here but I finally got this so I was super excited about it and I love these little tie straps. Those are always super cute, super fun, flirty, you know, what to do, baby. Yeah, it also zips on the side right here which is super cool. I love when tank tops zip on the side instead of the back because Having a back zipper is just much too complicated when you're putting on a shirt by yourself. <laughs> and then after trying on this tank top, I honestly would give it like more of a 7 just because it was much too big for me. So an extra small or even honestly an extra extra small would have fit way better and I would have been in love with this top. 
And then next up, we have another tank top. So my first impression of this was probably like a seven. Um, it's just like a basic little tank top. It's got the ruching everywhere. It just fits your body really well. We love a good hugging clothing item. And then it's got the ruffly sleeves once again. And then after trying this item on, Oh, and by the way, this is also from Hem and Thread. But yeah, after trying this tank top on, I honestly would give this a 9. I did not think that I was going to like it very much, just because it's super simple, and I usually go for the more not simple clothing items, <laughs> as you guys can probably tell by all of my videos on my channel. This is honestly super cute. It fits fantastically. Definitely keeping this one. This is going to be a new summer staple in my wardrobe, so look out for this top being styled in a future video or a future Instagram post. Also, plugging myself, go follow me on Instagram at Faith Blackshear. It'll be right up here if you want to know how to spell it. Or it's linked down below in the description like it is in every video. So go give me a follow. <laughs> Next up we have this pair of jeans. Honestly, when... I pulled these out of the box. I was really disappointed because <laughs> I hate jeggings with a passion. No shade, just facts. I really don't like jeggings. But they do fit really, really well. So, I mean, they are jeggings. Usually jeggings fit people really well just because they're so skin tight and stretchy and all that material business. So I'd say that my first impression would probably be like a three out of 10, to be honest. I just, yeah, for one, I don't like jeggings, and two, I don't like skinny jeans, and three, I don't like low-rise jeans, and these jeans are all of that. So I don't mean to bag on <laughs> like anyone or anything, but yeah, these jeans are just really not for me. But I guess after trying them on, I'll give them a 5 just because they fit so well. Alright, so next up we have this pair right here. These jeans are from JBD. Honestly, when I pulled these pants out of the box, I was a little bit excited because I saw that they were cut off like this and I really love when jeans are cut off like that. <laughs> they just have like the button up fly detailing which is always super cool. Um, personally, I love a good zipper just because it's super easy, but when it comes to aesthetics, button-up flies are just the flyest. <laughs> These jeans also fit really well. They made my butt look good, which was awesome. But once again, they are skinny jeans, and I kind of hate skinny jeans a lot. So, I guess my first impression would be like an 8, honestly, and then my second impression would probably just be a 7. They fit really, really well, so if you do like skinny jeans, definitely go pick yourself up a pair of these jeans. Um, I would have been so in love with them if they just were straight leg jeans instead of skinny jeans. So, no shade, once again, just my humble opinion. All right, and next up, we have this red sweatshirt, and this is from NIA or NIA. I don't know how to say it, so please do not come for me. Um, and this is just like a little boat neck sweatshirt, pretty simple, basic. Um, I guess my first impression would probably be like an eight. And then my second impression would also be like an 8. <laughs> um, it's just like super simple. You can't really hate it. And it's not like super heavy weight, so you could still probably wear it like on a chilly summer night, wherever you are. And then obviously for the fall and winter, it's easily layerable. So that's super awesome too. And it's also cropped. I love a good cropped sweatshirt. I wear nothing that is full length as you guys can probably tell. So overall, this is a nice eight. And then next up, we have this little polka dot cheetah leopard print mixture romper. I love a good black and white anything. Um, black and white 
are arguably my favorite colors. I really like the pattern on this. I think it's super fun. My first impression pulling this out of the box would probably be like a 7. It does have the like three quarter length sleeve which I am not a fan of at all. Honestly I think just if this was an extra small once again instead of a small that I would have liked it a lot more just because the dip in the front is much too wide for my body so it just didn't fit really well at all up there and then it does have a tie for going around your waist that you could tie to the side or in the middle I decided to tie it in the middle just so that I could make the romper fit my body better. I think that if it was smaller, it would have been much better on my body. Alright, so next up we have this little camel colored tank top chic looking beauty. And this is from the brand Hey You. So, my first impression pulling this out of the box, I was super excited once again. Um, so I probably would give this a 9 for my first impression. I really love this color. It's super trendy right now, just like beiges and tans and camel colors just light browns in this shade but you know just by holding it up you can probably tell that this is huge on me um i'm not sure if this is supposed to be if this is meant to be oversized it says that it's a size small but yeah it just did not fit well at all i was super disappointed i really wanted this one to work out because it is so cute so probably like an extra, extra small would have been for me, but sadly, it's just way too big for my liking. So yeah, but my second impression would probably be like a six and a half, because once again, I love the way this looks. It's so cute, but it just does not fit at all. And then next up, we have another pair of bottoms right here. These are the Nova Relaxed High Rise Cutoff Jeans by Pistola. And I did get a size 24, and my waist size is a 23. I, so I do think that these do run a bit large, um, because usually 24s would fit me, like, almost really well, but these are pretty big to be honest so I definitely suggest sizing down if you do buy these jeans personally I do not wear short shorts like this I much rather prefer a nice Bermuda short um, booty shorts have just never really been my cup of tea I don't like how they look on my body yeah for one I don't have a butt so it just looks really bad on my body and if I did have a butt, I just, yeah. Anyways, <laughs> I just don't like short shorts. But if I did like short shorts, I feel like I would really like these ones because they are super cute. And I feel like they would be really cute on someone who fit them really nicely, which is not me. So no shade, just me. And next up, we have this little um, tube top. Thing right here this is also by the brand hey you personally I don't like tube tops so when I pulled this out I was not excited at all so I'd probably give it like a five for my first impression I honestly didn't really like the color of the tube top either but after trying it on and styling it with some black pants I actually didn't hate it so that was cool um, so my second impression will probably be like an eight eight and a half because it actually turned out looking pretty good but I keep it and actually wear it no but I am going to keep it and give it to my friend because she loves it <laughs> so this is gonna be another item that I'm keeping from my box so yee and for the next item we have another romper Pulling this out of the box, my first impression would probably be a 5. I don't like floral prints, which is what this is, and I just really don't like the base color of the dress. It's kind of like a, like a faded yellow color. It's a nice little like picnic church dress romper thing. Um, it's just really not my style 
even in the slightest at all. So it's like not hideous, I just would not ever wear it in my life. It did fit pretty well, honestly. And then this one actually does tie in the front, not the back. I paid attention this time. <laughs> so yeah, my second impression would probably be like a six and a half. And then for the next item, we have this cute, fun little tank top right here. This has some more ruching. We love good ruch action. And this is from the brand. Hem and thread again. <laughs> and then once again, it has the ties at the top for the sleeves, which is super cute. So my first impression would probably be like a seven. And my second impression after trying it on would probably still be a seven. It is really cute but it's way too big for my torso. And I obviously don't blame them for like giving me size smalls. My body is just really small, so I don't fit into anything. Yeah. And then last but not least, we have another little black and white cute tank top right here. So pulling this out of the box, I honestly would give it like an eight. And this is from the brand Pistola again. This is just super cute. It's actually like a full length shirt on my torso, um, which is super fun. Definitely going to consider keeping this one. It's basically like a tube top with straps because it's like completely flat along all of this neckline right here, which is pretty cool. And then it's just ruched all around. This is what ruche means, right? I'm pretty sure this is ruching. If I'm using the wrong word during this whole video, I'm going to be really embarrassed. But yeah, anyways, my second impression would probably be like a 9, honestly. This turned out really cute, it fit really well, and I just honestly love everything about it, and I would wear this. So, yeah! Alright guys, that is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to comment down below, give this video a thumbs up, and consider subscribing if you aren't subscribed already. If you guys want to see more videos just like this where I rate like PR packages and stuff, please let me know because I would love to do more videos like this. And that is all for today. I'll see you guys next week.